<laughs> How you doing, Duff here? I'm at the school with my extra large Dunkin' Donuts coffee. And uh, there's one last thing that I wanted to do with the V11. Uh, I got a number of requests to ask me to try out uh, the seats that I have. Specifically, I have a seat that came with my MSX, and I have a seat that came with my Gen 1 Monster. People were curious if either of these were usable on the V11. I posted some, a picture to uh, Instagram last week where I sat these on top. Uh, both of them, them slide over the handle of the V11, no problem. Um, if you look at that picture, you'll see that this just kind of like balances on the top of it. This one goes down, but the the um, handle for the V11 doesn't go all the way into here, so it's, it's very, very loose. So you'll see that I have a, a rig job that I'll talk about in a little bit. But yeah, I know that I would have appreciated having the ability to sit down yesterday during that range test, so we're going to try and see what happens. Also, Also, another quick apology. I just realized yesterday and I, I, I've been noticing when I'm doing this video, I'm like, man, all these wheel shots and everything, it looks like I'm cutting the wheel off. It, it looks tighter than normal. Here I realized that way back, I think even when I started with the S18, I changed my frame rate on the GoPro to uh, 60 frames per second. And I, I must have accidentally changed the um, resolution from wide, from super wide, which is what I normally sh shoot at, to wide. So that's why a lot of the shots are, are more condensed than normal. So I apologize for that. So, okay, let's, uh, let's do this. I think with either seat, I'm gonna have to just start seated. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to transition. Uh, my, my legs right now feel a little better than yesterday, but they're still not, not great. I think I've mentioned it a few times, but this kickstand is actually quite handy. It was kind of, um, at, I remember when the wheel was announced, people were like, ah, oh, that thing sucks, it's no good. Uh, it's good. It, it, I, I can't tell you how often I use it. Okay, so here we go. MSX seat. As you see, it fits over there fine, but um, you just have to kind of keep your weight centered on here. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this at all. I don't know. Let's see how it feels, too. <laughs> feels like some less PSI would probably feel good, too. That's funny. It doesn't feel great because the seat's wobbling, so it's throwing off my balance. So, yeah, MSX seat, if you want to try it, go ahead, but uh, that's not for me. Now, the monster seat, I drilled a hole through here and I have some uh, Velcro. Of course, you need to make sure that you don't hit the disconnect button when you're doing this. So the Velcro should keep it from, you need to make sure you don't hit that button. Let's see the button's there. All right. All right, I feel like I'm sliding off the back. That's a little better. All right. Let's see if this goes any better. Whew. Jeez. Kidding me? Okay, kind of works, kind of. <clears throat> okay, uh, so obviously, starting from a seat position was not going well. If I if I sit on it and I um, I, I I get the position where it, I think is comfortable, I'm actually not in a good position to balance, unfortunately. So I have to do it from the standing position and then sit down. Now, the downside is, is at least for me, because I'm a taller guy, my, my rear end is towards the back of the seat and you know the, the handle on the top of the V11 slopes down. So it almost it feels a little bit like I'm slipping off the back a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it would, it would, it would uh, give me the break I need you know, when riding, but not ideal. But I did, I did hear that InMotion is coming out with their own seat, I believe. They're gonna come out with a seat option for it. 
and I don't think we'll have a hard time designing one that will fit the V11. Uh, S18, good luck. <laughs> With the way the, the top of that thing is uh, designed, I don't think you're going to be getting a seat anytime soon. Just wanted to see how the suspension feels while seated. Yeah, it's doing its job. Okay, this parking lot has um, some speed bumps. So let's let's try them from the seated position. See how they feel. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely better. Definitely better. Yeah. So if you're okay with the uh, Gen 1 Monster seat, that, that would at least short term will give you an option to sit on the wheel. The MSX seat might work if I use the same technique. It's just lower, so I don't even want to try it, but I think you know you could try strap it on and, um, and you'll be able to get by with it. At least it does fit over the handle. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Quick video. Um, this seems viable to me. MSX seat, oh, this ground is hot. MSX seat feels less viable. Um, but if you're a smaller guy, you might not have a problem whatsoever. So I know Mickey said that he actually sat on, just sat on the handlebar for a little bit. So yeah, he's, um, he's uh, more flexible than I am. So these seats, these Gen 1 Monster seats, you used to be at least uh, to get them from E-Wheels, I believe. I don't know if he's still selling them. He probably is. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for now. The only thing I uh, have remaining is just to give my conclusion on the V11 and uh, some comparisons to the S18. My final thoughts, um, wheels getting bought, ready to ship off to its new destination very soon. If you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're gonna subscribe, you can always hit the notify bell, which is over there somewhere. Um, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Um, if you liked um, watching me look like an idiot trying to ride this at first, um, yeah, thumbs up for that. Big thanks to Jason from E-Wheels for allowing us to uh, test these new wheels. And uh, that's all I have for you for now. Till next time, Duffman out.